now that the secondary database is initialized, the next step in creating log shipping is right click on the database and go to properties. Go to transaction log shipping and now we want to enable primary database. First we need to set up the backup settings. Here we specify where we want the backup file to go. That's the share location and this is the physical location. We can set the retention period for these backups. And also if the backup doesn't occur after a certain amount of time, an alert will be set out. Here we could set the threshold for that alert. And for the schedule, let's set it to run every two minutes for this demo. And once that's set, we could click OK or press Enter. Now we set up the secondary databases. Let's connect to our secondary server. And we want to restore onto test db1, which is already initialized. So on this first tab, initialize secondary database, we already initialized the database so we could choose this third option. No, the secondary database is initialized. If we didn't go through those steps of backing up the database and transaction log and restoring, we can use one of these options, which will do it for you. Since we already did it, we could just choose this third option and continue to the next page. Here, we set the destination folder for the copy files. So we want the copy to go to the backup folder, the backup share for the secondary server. And again, we could set the retention period. And now let's set the schedule. For the schedule, let's run it also every two minutes but let's run it starting at 12.01. This way it runs on the odd minute, so every one, three, five, seven minutes, while the backup will run on the zero, two, four, six, just for this demo, so they don't overlap each other. So on the restore transaction log here, Again, we have the option to do no recovery or standby mode. We'll choose standby. And for this option, delay restoring backups at least. So this allows you to delay replaying your log files if you have a need for that. If you don't want the log to immediately get replayed onto the secondary server, you could set this threshold. And again, for this, you could also set the alert threshold for whenever a restore doesn't happen. Under schedule, I'm going to set this to also run every two minutes. And click OK. Now we have our secondary database set up. We can add more databases, which is a great option for log shipping. We can log ship to multiple SQL instances. So now we're set up, we can click OK, and it's going to go through the steps to create and set up those SQL agent jobs. Now that's done, if we go to the primary server and take a look at the agent jobs, we'll see that here is a job to back up the transaction logs. And on the secondary server, we'll see that there are two jobs here. One is to copy the transaction log 
from the primary to the secondary and another job is to restore that transaction log onto the secondary database. So let's see if changes on the primary server will get replayed onto the secondary server. In this test DB1, we have a table called products. And there are two records. So let's add a third record to there. So now we have three records. Let's log into the secondary server, secondary database. And since the backup and restore hasn't happened here yet, we should still see that there are only two records here. Okay. Now, once the backup runs, and then the copy and the restore runs, the data that we just inserted should appear in that secondary server. So instead of waiting for the schedule to kick off, I'm just going to kick this off manually. So the backup file is created, and we could see that this is the one that we just created at 1041. Now if we go to the secondary server, that file hasn't been copied yet. So here we can kick this off manually to copy that over. And we see that here it is now. and the restore just kicked off. So this should restore this transaction log onto the secondary database. So once that's done, the third record should show up in this database. So let's try rerunning the query and now we see that the TV record is now replayed onto the secondary database. Now, if the primary database goes down, you can bring up the secondary database. To do that, we need to bring it out of standby mode. And the command to do that is restore database, database name with recovery. Database is restored. If we refresh this now, we'll see that the database is back online. And this concludes how to set up and configure log shipping. In my next video, I'll go over how to set up reverse log shipping, which will make the, your secondary server your primary and your primary server your secondary. Uh, this is very useful when you want to uh, reverse the roles of the servers and not have to redo a, a full backup. Sometimes the databases can have very large backups and if you're log shipping from say a location in the US with a location in Europe, copying that full backup to a European location can take a very long time. With reverse log shipping, you won't need to create that full backup and fully go through that initialization step. You can reverse the roles of these servers quite easily, and I'll show you how to do that in my next video.